Hello, my name is Keetron Evans, and I'm going to be showing you some advanced adversary tactics dealing with persistence. Now, in the cyber range, we map all of our exercises to the MITRE ATT&CK framework, and this one is no exception. It's persistence. It falls under the persistence parts of the framework, as well as some of the other areas in the different phases where you might do persistence, you know, earlier when you first get into the environment, but you might do it again at the end as you're heading out. So this will kind of show you how some of that works and some of the better ways to gain persistence. So let's go ahead and start up in the environment. All right, so now that we're into the environment, we're gonna go ahead and start up Metasploit. And that's what the MSF console is there for. So once we're started Metasploit, we're gonna use this specific exploit. So the framework is now starting up and then we're gonna give it this instruction here to tell it to use this bootstrap add-on uh, particular exploit here. So we're in there, we're gonna go ahead and tell it to do that. And it warns us that we haven't actually set a payload so it's defaulting to just a generic shell and we're okay with that for now. If you wanted to use Meterpreter or something like that, you just do set payload, you know, Windows Meterpreter reverse TCP or whatever respective payload it is you want to lose, use. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and run the exploit. And you can see it started, so it's listening, all right? So it says a URL and a local IP should be displayed. So this is basically telling you what your IP is and what port you're listening on, waiting for that connection to come back on. In this case, it's 172, 20, 23, 169, and the port is 4444. In other words, this payload is configured to where it's waiting for something on the other side to come back and connect to that port. So let's move on to step two. It says connecting to the session. So now we're gonna move over to the target machine and start Firefox. You will need to start Firefox from the terminal. So basically it's saying we're gonna go here to this target machine, we're gonna open a terminal. And then from here, we're just simply going to actually uh, start up Firefox. Now once Firefox is running, tells us that we need to, in Firefox, navigate to the local IP address listed earlier, you should be prompted to install the add-on. Essentially what's going on here is we're going to exploit something in the browser by having the browser visit that specific listener that we stood up in Metasploit on the other side. So we go back over here, record this information right here that it's talking about, All right? So we're gonna wanna browse to this HTTP location which is the IP and the port 8080. And what's gonna happen is that payload should launch for us, which then will allow us to get a shell back that's gonna come on the port 4444. So we go over to the victim, we put that URL in our browser. All right, we'll have to type that. That's 172.20.23.169. All right, and then the port is gonna be 8080. And then the URL, it's gonna be this weird string of characters and numbers here. Let's see if we can try pasting that again. All right, so now you can see when we browse there, it pops up a pop-up here, and we're gonna say allow on that, as it says here. And then we're gonna go ahead and install that add-on. So it says it installed it successfully. Now, once that add-on was installed, that actually exploited the browser. So if we go back to the listener on Kali, 
you can see that there is a session that's been opened up now. So as a result of that, we can hit enter, connect to that session as it says here in this step. In this case, it's gonna be session one. Now we've started an interaction. We actually have a shell where we're connected to the machine that just launched that browser section and uh, actually came over here. So we're gonna run touch, temp, next. It's basically just simply creating a file name next. And what you can do is we, you can now verify that we've actually created that file on the other machine over here. So the target actually has a file named touch that's been created on it as a result of what we did here. And that's what you're actually trying to see there. So I wanna stop there because I wanna leave some fun for you to have, but as you can see, what we've done is we've created a exploit of persistence on the attacker side using Metasploit. Then we pretended like we tricked the victim into going there. And now we've got a back door that will allow us to connect to this victim anytime we want. And we did it in the form of a browser plugin, or that's where we started it. So there's all kinds of other cool things that you'll see with this. You know, as we go in and modify, for example, uh, let's just do this step. Where we will look at the uh, system processes and basically set it up to be more permanent. Right. So we're looking at this file here. Um, we're going into it with Vim. And what it's actually telling you to do, it says add a new program at the bottom of this. And it's basically going to be the one that we created. So we're going to go into this uh, file that we opened with Vim. Go down to the bottom. Go into insert mode here. And we're just hoping you remember how to do insert from previous uh, exercises. We're gonna paste that in there, all right? And then we're gonna save that so that it becomes part of this file, all right? And notice when I did that, it actually gave me the green check mark to let me know it was completed. Now again, if you're new to this, of course, all the things I did, like how I opened the file in Vim, how I made the change, how I went into insert mode, how I told it to quit out with the WQ with the colon in front. These are things that we teach you in some of the more beginner types of labs, and we got them all in here. But the cool thing about it is again, all of these actually map to the MITRE framework. And you can see this uh, throughout all the labs and you can see how they're mapped. Thank you for watching. And if you want to do exercises just like what I just showed you, uh, on your own and practice and get good with it and see how these are mapped to the MITRE ATT&CK framework, then head on over to infosecinstitute.com slash range and practice with it and set up an account and you can do exactly what you just saw me do. Thanks for watching.